Hiya, this is a really simple tutorial on how to thatch your doll's part line. I um, like to work with the hair wet as always because it keeps it from flying away and if you're doing the part line last like I am just secure the, all the rest of the hair so it's out of the way and it won't get all mixed up. Now thatching is essentially crisscrossing really so there's nothing too technical involved it's really really simple and if you just make sure you've got just the part line and you keep it all out of the way because you only really want to work on two plugs at a time. Now take a long needle or anything really that you use to separate them and take the first two plugs in the parting. The one on the left and the one on the right. Like so. Sorry about that. Right, so you've got your two plugs and basically you want to crisscross them to alternate sides. So this one you take across to here and this one you take across to here. That's it. Really, really simple. And then you do the same again. Take your two plugs like so and keep the others all out of the way. Like that. I'll take some hair from the next bit. Right, so there you go, you've got your two. And again, you just crisscross over and over. Like that. And I'll show you one more time before I go on to show you something else you can do. Make sure you get them. So you take your two. Let's move them out like that. And then again, crisscross. So this one comes across onto this side. And this one across onto this side. Like so. Now some people like to split the plugs whilst doing it, which you're still doing the same thing, it just gives a slightly tighter finish. However, it is a total pain, really faffy and fiddly, so I tend to be quite lazy and not do it this way. However, I shall show you, should you feel the urge. So you take your two hair plugs again, just as before, separate them from the rest, hold them back. And what you do is your individual plugs, these two, you split again, into two, so you'll end up working with four plugs. Let me just, I'll take this one and put it just out of the way for a second, hold it under there, so I can show you what I mean. And you take your needle, and just hold it back here, and you split this one plug into two, like that. So you end up having two on this side. And then you do the same with the other one. Split this into two. Oh, keep hold down what you've done already. This is, you can see why now I don't do this very often because it is a real pain. Right, so I split this. Try to split it in two, like so. So you go, now you've got four little skinny strands and you carry on as before, doing one strand at a time. So you take the strand from this side, just the one, and criss it across, criss it across, <laughs> cross it, oh yeah, no, criss it across. Then you take this one and you put that one across that way and then you take the next one and go across and then you take the next one and go across and then you can see you've still got the part thatched together but it's nice and super tight because of course you've used two plugs split into two, four even. However, like I say, it is a real pain. By all means, if you've got the time, it gives a really nice finish and carry on. However, for the benefit of this tutorial, I shall just carry on and just show you really quickly all of it, just not splitting it, but just to give you a vague idea. So you go across and across, always holding it down and smoothing it. You see, every now and again, just bring it across and hold it. See on this side, like so. A couple more to go. That way, and that way. Last two, that way, and that way. And there you go. 
Obviously, yours will be a lot neater than mine. You go across like this, and there you can see you've got your crisscross part line. Now, don't worry too much about these sort of boldy bits showing through. A lot of that will get hidden when you actually take the hair and set it and style it how you want it to be. However, should you find you have got the odd tiny little bold spot like there, you can always go back in and fill it in with another bit of another plug or so. But there you go, that's, that's basically how you thatch and it's so simple, you can release poor Cindy from her hairband around her face and it gives you, there you go, that finish, like so. And just to demonstrate, because obviously I, I'm not going to show you how to wash and style and all that now, there's a couple of dolls which I've got here which have been thatched and I shall show you, first off. There's a parting like that, where you see it gives it a nice neat finish. It's all thatched across. Now this one you can see I split the plugs. And on this one, I didn't, because I very rarely do, but it still gives a very nice finish. You can see it's all neatly crisscrossed. And it's just a nice way to get your doll looking quite nice and professional at the end. So that's it. It's really simple, really easy to do. And I hope that helped. If you have any questions, by all means, write a comment or drop me an email and I shall do my best to help. Alright, bye!